everybody. Welcome back to the Beerman Vlog. It is Sunday. It is July something. What's today? Mark? Mark's running the camera. What's today? July. Today is July 17th. July 17th. Okay, so... And our other video should have posted today. Yes, we did have a video drop today um, on a, a bakery we tried in the area. So this video is really just... Um, I want to call it a combination, or a recap, uh, ramblings and grind my gears, whatever. Uh, so is this like a rant video as well? Kind of a rant video as well. So first off, making dinner right now. And I was telling Mark earlier, you know, my parents were not gourmet chefs. In fact, my mom, like what she did best was burn things. But I mean, there, there's stuff she made that was pretty good. And then my dad, for the most part, all I remember him making was salsa. And he made that every year. And when he moved in with us, there were several things like he made on a regular basis, like kind of a staple, hot salsa sandwiches. So I was, I had some leftover round steak. My dad always made round steak with potatoes and it was, he used the skillet for it, the electric skillet. Um, and it has basically beef broth, water, um, cream and mushroom soup, and it's supposed to kind of simmer over the stove till they have kind of a nice scald to it. So I have this bad feeling I put too much water in it. I haven't made this for a couple of years, honestly. And I'm like just completely forgetting how to make it. So hopefully this turns out. Uh, but I was also thinking today how accomplished I felt. So working at home, I worked at home for four years, so this is pre-pandemic, and I always felt like anything, like I just didn't do anything on the weekends. Like it was just hard, you're already working in your home, you don't want to leave on the weekends, you don't want to do anything. So I feel like this weekend was a little productive for, for me personally. We got almost all of, and I say we, you know, I I try, Mark unpacked the computer, so our main main like, desktop computer has been unpacked and hooked up and all that good stuff. But we also got um, all the laundry done. I got all the stuff out of my car. So, well, almost all the stuff. So I was able to want to put my seats back up. Uh, we got, just, I don't know, just just a couple things. Um, if you, I don't know the best way for you to come with me. I'm gonna go around this corner, you just want to turn. So there is a window right by my desk that in the morning, of course, even with the blind shut, you get a lot of light through and a lot of heat through. So I had actually seen this online and it's a, it's one of those, it's a room darkening shade, but for whatever reason, you know, Kim doesn't map, Kim doesn't measure, don't, give, don't expect anything accurate in that sense for me. So as you can see, I, I under, under measured I think I just got confused with all the windows I was measuring, but it's about three inches too short. But I actually like like it right here. It brings in the blue color I like, and it's going to not have, like I'm not gonna have the sun on my face first thing in the morning when I'm working. So we got that done this weekend. Mark got that installed. Um, gosh, I don't know. What else did we get done this weekend? Just, just like little things. Like most everything in the apartment that was cardboard that was supposed to, meant to be unpacked. All the cord, cord, cord board, can't talk right now. All the cardboard's gone. It's been downstairs, it's gone to recycle. Oh man, I just noticed I didn't put my Ninja out yet. No, but it's I- It's still sitting there. But, but I had this, I had this like brilliant thought today. Okay. So why we didn't thought, you know, discuss this before, these shelves are removal. Yeah. <laughs> so duh. You know, we can always remove a shelf and just put the box in there. Yes. But yeah, that was my, really just didn't occur to me when we were looking at it. So, um, also this week, I'm just gonna see how this is. I think I'm gonna leave it kind of bubbling. This week I also had a job interview for a uh, same position, just a different area within my company. And so, which brings me to my, my little rant, my little rant. Um, do you ever talk to somebody and have them tell you something that should be a nice, either a nice comment or something 
positive that you just take very passive aggressively. And I, for example, the job I, I applied for is considered a lateral move for me. And when I talk to my boss about it, I haven't been offered the job yet, but more or less, um, the person I applied or the job I applied for, that manager is already discussing my, the transition with my manager. So I, we had to have kind of a conversation this week about it. And he says to me, you know, you should consider this a promotion. You know, even though it's a lateral move, you should consider it a promotion, you know, go out to dinner. And I'm like, I'm sure in his mind that was something nice. He thought he was saying something nice, something congratulatory. But to me, it, it just sounded very passive aggressive. Like, you're not the same job, you know, you just rub me the wrong way. So anyway, hopefully on Monday I will get an official offer and transition, not leaving the company, not even leaving the client I'm servicing, um, but just moving into a different area. So. I've got that going on this week. Uh, Mark had a, a job offer for, um, it's okay if I say it? Okay, Mark doesn't want me to say it. So we're, we're not gonna talk about his his opportunity yet until he's ready, but, oh, so, okay, so now it's doing what it's supposed to do. So you'll notice my meat and my potatoes starting to get this kind of, I call it a skull, but I, I don't know honestly what it's supposed to be, what it's supposed to be called. But I made my potatoes a little bit um, smaller, like my dad would use like really, not thick slices, but really round slices. I cut mine like in half because the problem with this dish is because you're cooking meat and potatoes at the same time, sometimes you have to cook it a little bit longer. So you're trying to get a char of the meat? The char of the meat and the char of the potatoes. Okay. So it's basically taking, and, and I want my char to be the mushroom soup, and that sounds weird, but yeah, it's the, that's how my dad always had the char, like it was cream of mushroom soup, so, anyway. Well, I guess there's one thing I would say I'd like, to, well, I would like to talk about, but I will talk about, is I finally used the gym at our apartments, and I overdid it, like I put way too much weight on, and I'm really hurting, but it's been a long time since I've lifted weights, so... Since we actually have a gym with weights now, so yeah, I'm very stiff and <laughs> hurting right now. Yeah, it's it it is it's gonna be a nice thing to have that gym, um, and not like a little place that with Tinker Toys. Like yeah, we never did take a picture of the Tinker Toys. Hey, we can always insert a picture because it's on their website. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can insert a picture from their website. So, um, other than that, it's been you know just a pretty quiet week. Kylie's still in Omaha for. I think three more weeks, four more weeks, and then I have, um, I have my own. I have a surgery coming up. I'm gonna have an endometrial ablation uh, the second week of August. But before then, we have a big birthday trip for Mark. We're having another staycation at Universal's. I why don't I remember the name? Royal it's Pacific. Hotel. Royal Pacific. Um, and part of that, is, part of that stay, um, they actually offer luau's. And we're going to go to a luau while we're there, which is fun. That's at the end of the month. And then, I mean, that's about it. Like I said, the goal, like anything I accomplish in my mind is big. But like this weekend, you know, I'm like, wow, I got, you know, five boxes to the recycle bin. But I have three loads of laundry done. Um, I've actually... Made a homemade dinner tonight. What else? Um, I guess that's about it. You know, nothing major. Um, I did make it to the grocery store and back twice today without using my GPS, which is awesome. Um, I unfortunately had not planned on going back to the store, but when I was buying my ingredients for tonight, this was right next to the cream and mushroom soup. So this is a family size. Oh, family size cream of chicken there. That's dude. family size cream of chicken. And I knew they were next to each other, but I must have got distracted when I ended up reaching for it. I accidentally grabbed the cream of chicken and didn't notice until about an hour ago. I'm like, ah, I have to go back to the store now. So I'm back to the store. Yeah, so now we're just gonna have dinner and try to go to bed at a reasonable hour. Oh, and I, 
I did sleep once this weekend. I slept on Friday night. So uh, Thursday and Friday I had the headache from the depths of hell where you know the ones where you can't even lift your head off the pillow because it's all the way back into your neck and your shoulders. I went to the chiropractor on thir on Friday and she's you know it was a, it was actually a really easy adjustment and I felt really good afterwards and then I decided you know over instead of taking um, melatonin that I would take some Unisom because Mark's kind of concerned that I take too much melatonin, so now my body just doesn't even make natural melatonin. So I took a pill and I slept. Well, I don't know if that's a thing or not, but you do take a lot of melatonin. Yeah. So I, I, I mean, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure it's a thing anyway. But anyway, I slept really good. And then last night, I tried to sleep. And I, it took me a while to fall asleep. I didn't take any melatonin. And then when I did fall asleep, it, it felt like really hard like hard sleeps when I woke up though I didn't feel like I had slept you know you know, you know like you can't account for two hours that you felt like you didn't sleep at all so that was most of the night I was up at I, I did manage to sleep till about eight this morning yesterday I was up at six so anyway I guess that's it rant and rant, you know not much to rant and rave about this week you know nothing crazy happened except for like I said the perception of comments that could be considered passive aggressive in my opinion but other than that you know we've we're pretty moved in right now we're pretty unpacked i oh yeah that's good i finished unpacking our bedroom so there's not boxes and and you helped and got some of the stuff out of the way so you know it actually looks like a bedroom and not like a war zone yeah we got some of kylie's room done today and then i think almost everything that's left now is what she'll have to do when she comes back so i guess that's it so i hope everybody has a great week and we'll see you soon i don't have i don't have anything planned for the any upcoming videos planned so we'll have to figure something out something out and for those of you who actually watch these thank you for watching them like and subscribe that would be great you know, we're not looking to become YouTube sensations, but it is nice to see that somebody kind of enjoys enjoys these. And until then, stay out of trouble. <laughs>